Good morning everyone, Nick from Meat Smoke Fire here on this beautifully sunny, well maybe not, um, but freezing day, another cold one, um, and a little bit blustery. So we've got the sock on the camera uh, to cover up the mic, but you probably will still get wind noise. I did a test and I still got wind noise, but um, apologies for that. So um, anyway, exciting times. Um, two reasons for I'm excited. One, you may have spotted it. I'm wearing very focals, I'm getting old. Um, so uh, yeah, I've got my glasses on. First time I've ever had them, so I thought I'd give them a go on the film. Um, second reason to be excited, I've got my jab on Thursday, get in. So yeah, off to get my uh, COVID jab on Thursday. Helen has already had hers, lucky person. Uh, but yeah, got the call and uh, off I go. So really good news. This feels like we're gonna come out of this, we'll be able to do classes and all of that. So brilliant stuff. Anyway, usual story, uh, we have got three cooks, well we haven't, we've actually got four cooks, but one thing. Um, so we promised a wings day, so we're going to do all sorts of different wings. So we'll get cracking with it, uh, hopefully, and you'll enjoy it. But first things first, here she is, looking cold and grumpy. <laughs> uh, she doesn't want to be doing this today, but anyway, here we go. <laughs> right, let's get cracking. So. Um, promised you different ways of cooking wings, so let's just go through them. So on this middle egg, I don't mean check the temperature on that one, hopefully it's all right. Uh, middle egg, we're going to use the Let's Q. So you wanted a Let's Q cook. This is probably the easiest of them all. And we've just got wings. And what you'll see is sometimes they stick to the edges. And that one's not going to fall off. But um, there's wings in there. Um, I have got some of Liz's bingo wings in there. Uh, Liz is a friend of ours. Uh, she, when she saw this basket last summer, she said it looked like a bingo basket. Um, so what we've done to make it a bit more exciting um, is, I've got it over here. We use a food injector and some hot sauce. And I injected into a random number of the wings, some hot sauce. So, um, They'll be hot anyway, but then you might get one that's super hot all the way through, and that's when you shout, bingo! Um, so these are Liz's bingo wings. Um, so um, I did the injection earlier because I needed to get the wings on so they'll be ready while we're, while we're um, doing the, the cook. Right, on this one. Sorry, I'm gonna hunt my eggs all day here. Helen, I can't do this, but, um, So on this one, we have just cooking indirectly. So at about 180 degrees, something like that. I've got two different types of wings. So on the right hand side and on the top level, I've got just um, salt on these. So they're plain wings with salt. And on these bottom ones, you can see with a bit more color on them and I'll flip them over. Um, these have, um, I'm gonna concentrate on the camera. <laughs> no. These have got, these bottom ones here, have got a, um, and I'll pull the lid shut, um, these are, are, are uh, marinated in some Shaoxing wine, some soy, a bit of corn flour, a bit of garlic, a bit of ginger. Um, so all in there, they marinated overnight and they're gonna be our Kung Pao wings and we'll make a sauce to go with those. So those are all gonna carry on cooking. Let's go over to the final egg. So you all know, um, this is the egg I always do the um, deep fat frying on. So as usual, walk in there, you can't see a lot. Um, temperature on the outside, 140. Temperature of the oil, just over 200 degrees. Bang on where I want it. So, um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our first set of wings and we're gonna do them really fast. Um, so I'm gonna make them, they're not even in yet. So I have some wings and we're just gonna make a little bit of a sauce for them. So in my bowl, I have just some um, some salt and some black pepper, if it stays in there with the wind. I'm gonna get an egg in there. And we're gonna get some hot sauce. You've got to, and this is just Frank's Red Hot. Um, wings without Frank's, I don't know, not the right thing. So we're gonna get some Frank's Red Hot sauce in there. Uh, and then I'm just gonna whisk it up. And that will help bind our wings now. Okay, 
So I'm going to do this. I'm going to roll my sleeves up a little bit because this is going to get messy. <laughs> it's, going to be a disaster. <laughs> it's not going to be a disaster. That's not very nice. <laughs> just hope there's not a big gust of wind. Yeah. No. So we've got um, just normal plain flour here. Um, you could put salt through it um, and then wings. So the idea, pop the wings into the flour, pop the wings into the mixture, pop the wings back in the flour, and then I'm just going to put them off to one side for now. So flour, sauce, flour, off to one side, flour. This isn't very exciting, I'll only do four or five. But uh, GBS 1971, um, if you are interested in a big green egg, just send us a direct message and Nick will be able to help you out. Oh yeah. So I'll do a couple more. So flour, couple more. flour, sauce, flour, the tap is on yes awesome. oh now you now you've distracted me flour <laughs> sauce this never works does it flour oh hello not good on a windy day so we'll go with five so open it up and then just slide them in from the edge pop them in gently separate them there we go while those start to cook, I'm going to go and get this off. So, um, come with me. Good morning, Carlos. Good morning, yeah, Good morning, morning Medic. Um, I saw, yes, Marcus Brailsford. Morning, um, other Marcus. Wendy, yeah. Sue Stoneham. Morning, Sue. Stuart Duncan. Sue was on a cook last night that I missed again, I think. She does more cooks than anyone. I miss them every time. Who else? Bernie's on. Morning, Bernie. Uh, yeah, quite a few people. Lovely. Right. So let's go back and have a look at these. They're only going to take about five minutes aside, ten minutes. What I will do is take these ingredients out of the way a little bit. Apparently, James Martin has just done beer butt chicken on his egg this morning. Which... Come in. I mean, I, I shouldn't have started mid. that. Shouldn't have started that. Course, anyway. Yeah. Morning, Coco. Coco. Morning. Lovely sourdough bagels. It looked like she cooked this morning. It looked awesome. It was that yesterday? I liked them anyway. They look. Coco's baking is second to none. Um, so what we're doing? They're cooking away nicely. They're going to have a nice. You can already see that flour nicely crisping up on the outside. We want it to go golden brown. And as with anything chicken, we want to get it above 74 degrees. So um, getting that above 74 will, um, uh, will make sure it's safe to eat. Um, with wings, you can actually take them higher. So into the 80s and 90s, it breaks down and it, it, it's just nice. So um, you're not going to overcook these. You might burn the outside, but you're not going to overcook them. And of course, we'll just probe them with a thermo pen in a bit and see how they go. Right. While those are cooking, we've got three lots of wings cooking. Let's make um, a sauce. So, for our, we're going to do one of our wings is going to be just a traditional hot sauce. Uh, so I've got some Frank's um, traditional American style. So to go with that, we want just want um, a blue cheese sauce. So I'm going to keep it really simple. Okay, so Coco has asked. Yeah. Um, does closing the egg during frying increase the water content of the oil? Never noticed it. It's a good question, but never hold noticed on, it. Hold on, hold on. Stop, stop, stop. Go. Barbecue minute. Is that was that a marriage proposal, or have I missed a comment? <laughs> to who? To me? No, not to you. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to go in with some sour cream. So, um, you want about 50 50 sour cream. Oh, <laughs> she said yes to Let's Go. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting very excited. 50 50 sour cream to buttermilk. Okay, or you can use mayonnaise. So, I'm going to get those mixed together. Oops. I don't wear glasses outside, they steam up. And now this is super simple. I'm just going to go in with some um, 
having to pin everything down to, um, to a knife. Um, I've got some golden art up, but it could be still turned. I just like the creaminess. So I'm going to just drop chunks in and I'll have to wash my hands again. It's not my favourite blue cheese. Helena's not a big fan of blue cheese dressing. No. Um, Love blue cheese. taking off that's for sure yeah. we don't have... but it is a tad on the breezy side right, uh, right I'm going to taste this now. okay so Rob has asked he's doing a first run out oh. with, the, with the stainless steel fire bowl later mm. is the temperature consistent with the grate or greater airflow so adjust the vents um, you will probably get better airflow than you had before, so you might want to close your vent slightly. But you'll see it on the on the on the front on the thermometer. So let me just wash my hands. Okay. So yeah, no, you will you'll love it. It's just like your eggs, almost new again. Um, yeah. Right. Get these uh, and turn a few of these over. Oh no, we need to look at our deep fried ones, don't we? Cool. Don't want to burn them. Lush. Now the idea is these go crispy. So put a thermal pen into the middle of one of them, go into a big thick one. I've probably gone through the other side, but 80s, 73. I'm gonna leave them a little bit longer, another two or three minutes. So while we're doing that, we'll flip some of the others. Because once we've got all these cooked, we're then gonna put some sauce on them. Easy target. <laughs> So, um, let's just uh, push this top layer back. So I'm just using the expander because I've got so many wings. Um, but you can see these bottom ones bar these ones at this side are um, the, the ones that we've marinated. So these here are the marinated ones overnight and they're going to be delish. We had a go with the sauce last night. Oh my God, it's incredible. Um, so these are going to be the Kung Pao uh, wings. The others we're then going to put into Frank's or our Korean. So they're not doing too badly. Let's do a flip a few of these. These are going to take a little bit longer up here. Morning, Ben. Are you out in your tractor this morning? Any hangovers? Any questions? Oh, oh lost the cheeky wing down the back of there. Right, let's have a see how we're getting on. So 80s, 90s, they are not far off. 85, sir. 87, perfect. So these are pretty much done, so we can get on with the sauces. So give those a minute, we're gonna get those out. Uh, still not there. Oh, I don't know. 78. The smaller ones will be done. They're 90s. Yeah. I'm going to take them all out. Only because I, I don't want to be burn them. I left one in the other day and burnt it. So that big one will probably leave for a bit. Morning, PJ. Uh, so a question from Christian. Yeah. What's the best egg? Sorry, what's the best glove for egg cooking? Lost a few arm hairs. Well, firstly, remember to burp your egg. Yeah. You're less likely to lose arm hairs. Uh, Nick tends to use... I use, I've got two different ones. These are called Silly, S-I-L-I. -I. Um, if you go onto my website, there is a menu on the top right. That's the second one from the, the right. 
uh, and if you go in it's if you go down into uh, my barbecue essentials I link to these um, they're silicon um, I like them really like them and then I've got these other ones uh, linked as well because I think those are out of stock these are YHK ones they're also linked on that page same place they're pretty much identical silicon again and you can pick up just about anything with them um, big green egg obviously do their own these are 17 pounds a pair I think the big green egg ones are probably 17 pound each um, and pretty much identical so um, yeah anyway there's our first set of wings so I will I'm going to try one. Cheeky. So, um, hot sauce already in the in the batter. Nice and crispy, almost KFC like on the outside, like that. Cooked through perfectly. Lovely. Put that back for a sec. So, first set. They're not going to stay very warm here, but hey, we can reheat them. Have a look at our ones in our basket. Pen back. So these have just been tumbling in here. Now you might have seen um, 90s, they're good. 90. So these are almost done as well. Um, the more you do them, the crispier they're going to go on the outside. Um, what I do with these is I salt them before I put them in. So there's just salt tumbled on them. Um, I did see somebody who um, lays them out in their fridge on a rack and salts over the top of it and leaves them overnight and that will make the skins even more crispy. I guess it'll just dry it out, won't it? Yeah. Pork. yeah, so they're all done, they're perfect. Okay, right. so um, Franco is cooking samosas in phyllo pastry a bit later. Baking stone or plancher? Oh, baking stone or plancher. I would go a little bit of oil and probably on the cast iron plancher. Um, just, I think, a little bit of oil on there, you know, otherwise you can deep fry them in a wok. And he says, yeah. do you egg wash them or not? I don't know. Uh, you don't tend to egg wash, you tend to, they tend to be deep fried, so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Maybe. put them on a, on a, put them in cast iron and put some oil on them. And then they'll fry a little bit at the same time, I'd have thought. That's what I would do. Um, or I deep fry them in the wok. Right. So, all of these. I keep putting my thermo pen down, I've got a pocket for it. By the way, the aprons are back in stock if Ed is on. Um, yes, he is on this morning. So Ed, uh, meant to give you a shout, so I put them back in stock about five minutes ago. Um, so these are, you can see they're all 90, 95, they're all good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab a bowl. I'll do them in two stages. So we'll keep these ones separate. We'll do the, we'll do the gum pal. These are a bit of skin will come off and stick, but they right. We'll get those few from down here that are the same. I know which are which. I'm just going to take this layer out just to get it out of the way. Okay, so someone has suggested that if you put baking powder on the skin of the wings the night before, it makes amazingly crispy wings. I tried it. I didn't like it. Oh, so controversial, Andrew. I have, Sorry. Yeah, no, that's um. It's good. There's always different ways of doing these things. And um, yeah, so we did some of those during the week and I didn't like it. Um, simple as. Ooh. Right, I'm just going to grab these ones off. So these are our gun power ones. These are the ones that have been marinated uh, overnight. They've got a better colour. They look a bit crispier. They've got some ginger on them. I think these are going to be winners. I think you're going to love these. Right, so I might stick with this egg. I'm just going to put them off to one side. Um, shut them. No, I'm good. Oh, I'm good. Um, just to prove how good these things are, look, I'm going to take the whole of the inside Ooh, out. I've never seen that before. And I'm just going to pop it underneath. Um, hopefully, I won't set fire to a table. Um, Helen will now worry, worry about that. <laughs> and we're going to go in with a wok. Um, so, this egg is a little bit hot for what I want, um, but we'll work on it. Has that gone out? Nah, it's still, still smoking, we're fine. <laughs> right. <laughs> she does worry. <laughs> what a <of> us has to. <laughs> so, um, we're going to do the sauce now for those wings. So we're going in veg oil, olive oil, 
olive oil I've got here, but veg oil normally, or peanut oil. So a couple of tablespoons of those. What we have, and I haven't de-seeded them. <laughs> Frank says 999. Yeah. Um, that, uh, has it gone out? Nearly. <sighs> um, you do, these are the um, red chilies that we used. I'm gonna turn this down a bit. These are the red chilies that we used for the Thai cook a couple of weeks ago. Now you can de-seed them. Um, I'm not gonna bother, because I quite like it hot. And we tried this last night and it could have been hotter. So we're gonna go in, and this is nice and hot. I'm just gonna break them up. So I'm just breaking those up and getting them in there. I'm going to use my wok spoon and they're going to go <coughs> really quick. That's got, <coughs> hang on, I'm going to take it's a, <coughs> it's a little bit more. Oh, hello. <laughs> I have to do that again. <laughs> I've got that a little bit hot. So there you go. It does go wrong at times. Let me go and re get some, get some more. I don't think we've done it yet, Johan. Drop us a note and we'll yeah, get some options. Drop us a note. Sorry, that was a bit more. Okay, so. Uh, while I'm doing it. One second, just Okay. So we're doing a little bit of a wing fest today. We're just going to do a, uh, <laughs> a take yeah. two on the walk. Yeah. That's what you call seasoning as you go in. Uh, have you got any spare chilies out there? Yeah, uh, in the, just inside. I'll come back. We're going to have that in a second. Chilies, I will be one second. Okay, so oh. are we doing a little bit of a Nick's just done a sprint into the house to get some replacement chilies. I will just to be sure everyone look, it's all gone out, we're fine. No fire, no need to call it 999. Right, got a couple of chilies. Really? <laughs> what a surprise you don't. <laughs> so Joe has asked, do you need to season the wok? When you buy it, yes, absolutely. I'm just gonna put this out of the way. <laughs> They're gonna blow away, you're gonna have chilies all around the garden. Chilies around the garden. Okay, um, yeah, so you do need to, I'm just gonna put the oil in here. I gave him a little uh, show of the um, convective show, it's gone out. <laughs> all right, there we go, all right. Second, second's out, round two. Well, it's going like mad. I might swap over to the egg on the end because this one is just. Can you see it's up at 250? I'm going to swap to the cooler one at the end. Um, so let me take this over. Okay. Take that block out, put it out the way. Oh. I'm just going to put it under there for a sec. I'll put it up there, that's it for better. going to go on the side. I'll put it in in a second. Just need to go and get all my ingredients now. They're up the other end. Sorry about that, people. I know who will like that. Paul White will love the fact that something has gone wrong. So there you go, Paul. Joe, I will get uh, Nick to talk about seasoning a walk in a minute. Right, here we go. I need my wings. Right, we're ready. Let's not burn the chilies this time. Okay. The pan is going in. So we're just about Spoon. to start a Kung Pao sauce for those that are just joining, ready to go on our chicken wings that are already cooked. So um, with this, um, sorry Helena, um, you are supposed to blacken or redden the chilies a bit, but not quite as much as I did that time. No. Um, so we'll get these. You can break them up, but they'll break up if you stir it. That's much better. They're just starting to sizzle away now. So I've got three in there. That's better. A little bit more in control. This yeah. Time. So now I'm going to go in with, I've got um, uh, spring onions. Where are the other ends? What do I do with those? The I've got the other ends. 
they should be the white ends of the spring onions. Anyway. Oh, do you want to just a look? Yeah, one set, I'll have a look. Oh, I'm going to go in with the garlic before this gets too hot. Good. Got the, the white ends of the spring onions. Okay. We've got the garlic in there. This is really quick. So make sure you've got all your ingredients next to you. Don't move like I've just done. Right, they're all in. Now we're going with everything else. So we've got brown sugar, a tablespoon going in. We have a tablespoon of uh, Shaosheng wine. We've got soy sauce, two tablespoons, and we've got white wine vinegar going in. Okay, uh, jumping Joe go, we'll come back to you about woks in a minute and yeah. uh, Joe Rundle will talk to you about seasoning a wok in a minute. So yeah, two perfect. things to talk about in a cool. minute. So see that sauce, it's going very quickly already. And then from this side, we are nearly done. I've got a bit of um, uh, corn, corn flour. flour in a bit of water just to thicken it so that's going in. There you go, thickened already, and then straight in with our chicken. These are going to be absolutely delicious. Right, yum. And that is... That is Kung Pao chicken. Kung Pao chicken. I'm going to turn this right down to keep it cool. Um, remember when you're cooking with a wok, let me just pop that up there for a sec. Um, bottom of the wok is right by the flame so you don't need your egg up at 200 300 degrees you, you just need um, the bottom of the wok to get hot and so having your egg at 150 degrees is a great place to have it like it was a bit earlier so I'm going to serve these onto my plank so we'll pop those on there so those are some Pung Pao Chicken wings. Bring these ones over. So that's two so far. So we'll pop those on. Uh, these we're gonna put just put a little bit of spring onion tops over them, make them look pretty. So that's two. Right, third sauce, the easy one. Ah, oh, Mary, he's forgotten the, the nuts for the, the Kung Pao. Now, I didn't forget the nuts. I chose not to put the nuts okay. in because we hadn't got any. <laughs> right. Lexi so, says, nice board, no, Nick. Yeah. So, bit of butter going in. Um, one of our T-Fal Ingenio pans with the handleless pans that we use all the time. Uh, I will go on that end egg. Actually got the handle, yeah. I've got the handle. I'm just going to take the plate setter out. So the one we used earlier, take the expander off. Right. This egg is nice and hot, so it's fast. Take that one out. Pop that one in. We're going to start melting this. We'll get these ready. Okay, so while you're doing that, yeah. you talk about uh, wok and if there are different sizes for the egg. Sorry, wok? Wok. Are there different sizes? No, so there's it? only one size wok. Where do you get it from? It's from Big Green Egg. Um, you need the expander basket. So if I grab the hot one from down here. Um, you need one of these expander baskets got, got the circular bit in the middle they do this for the large and the extra large only so the wok will fit this or it'll fit the extra large just behind me um, and then to season your wok you basically put a little bit wipe a little bit of oil in there and burn it and then wipe it and then wipe some more oil in there and burn it again and it basically creates a little layer of oil in there that becomes non-stick. Have you got a video on that? Uh, yes, so there is a video on YouTube, in our YouTube channel, um, about exactly how to do that. 
Okay, perfect. So, so hopefully that answered those sauce. two questions. And if you're, sorry, can't remember which of our followers asked about the walk. If you're um, after one, then just drop us a direct message and we can help you. Right, I'm going to go a bit lower because now it's, uh, no, I'll, I'll wait. I'll be patient. Okay. So we'll let that, that sauce go. So this is going to be, um, you can buy Frank's wing sauce. Um, basically it's their normal sauce mixed with butter so I've just put butter in there quite a lot and put quite a lot of Franks in there and mix it up and that is a butter Frank's butter sauce delish so let's uh, that's better so our butter's melting what we'll do is put this over the wings now you can add salt and pepper to it anything like that really good so while we're doing that, while that's melting, I'll also crack on with, um, we're gonna make Korean sauce. So again, another T Falinginio pan, no handle. Um, the handles clip on and off. So you can get these, they're brilliant for the egg. The stainless ones, if you can buy them, are much better than the aluminium ones. That's in terms of pan. Um, so we're gonna cook into this one. We're going to um, use, just gotta grab my spoon. So we're going to put in, um, we're going to make this Korean, uh, Korean sauce. So this is um, Korean fermented chili paste. So you want about a tablespoon and a half. Obviously my brother's on. Is he on today? Yeah. Good morning Chubby. Uh, tablespoon and a half of that. Um, this is fermented soybean paste, so about a tablespoon and a half of that. So that goes in. Let me take the red bit out. Okay. And we're going to start melting these in here together. Yep, we're good. It's probably enough butter, I guess. I'm just going to put that, whoops, put that somewhere else. Put it down there for a sec. Put, pop some franks in there about the same amount as the butter this is for the other other sauce and we'll give that a mix up Take that. Uh, so today we are doing um, wings 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 yes so um, there we go Nick's just making two different types of so sauce. this is just a, a, a typical franks sauce um, and I'm going to put this over this bunch because we've still got those ones going in there that can be our Korean ones. So, Frank's hot sauce going on, mixed with butter. This is your typical American, uh, go to American bar, they'll serve you wings. And they're just coated in deliciousness that is the orange Frank sauce. Get those, get a pair of tongs. sauce on the edge of those so you know exactly what they're all about. Right, last sauce. So Franco said what does the butter do? The butter just makes it taste delicious. Left my hand behind. Morning Harold. I have to tip. Oh I'm having a shocker today. Listen. So start heating these bits up. It's nice and thick. To that we're going to add soy sauce about a tablespoon and a half. I think you'll find that as a tablespoon and three quarters chubby. My brother's always moaning at me. We're going to put some runny honey in there, about a tablespoon. Lovely. We're going to put a couple of teaspoons of um, soy sauce, uh, soy sauce, sesame sauce. Oil. Sesame oil in there. Perfect. We need some brown sugar. See me use my hands. About a tablespoon of brown sugar. Okay. I've run out of spoons. 
And now we're just going to mix that round, get that all melted in, get that brown sugar melted in with the paste. smell this this is this is well the kung pao is awesome this is awesome is lexi still on i uh, don't know she's coming to go cold i believe she's coming to collect them right how are we doing for time oh perfect right i'm gonna leave that just two minutes while we get the other wings out that will heat up nicely um, to go with it, we've got some sesame seeds. I'm going to put a little bit through the sauce and then a little bit on at the end. And we have the juice of a lime to go in. Probably put that in now. I'll put it into the sauce. There you go. Give it another stir. Oh, this is, I've done this one so, so many classes and people love it. seconds while we get the wings out. So, over here, in our basket, we have our wings. So I'm just going to lift that off. Shut that egg. Get another glove. Oh, it's only cooked wings, I think. Well, yeah, no, we don't know that. Make sure you can see oh, you've got one. Right, so we're going to open this basket, uh, which is always the trickiest bit with these big gloves on. But there we go. I'll rescue that one. Uh, so. So I tend to put that basket in straight in the dishwasher. It's the easiest way to clean yeah. it, but it's oh, not. It's not. Yeah. It's not too bad actually. It is stainless, so but just find it easier to stick it in there. Yeah, there's two types. There's these, this, or there's, there's a, a Teflon coated one. Um, I'll show you in a set. I've got it just down here behind me. Um, go if you can get the stainless one. Go for the stainless one. These are lovely and crispy. That's got a leaf off our neighbour's tree in it. Come back to the last. those take them over oh they're crispy the sauce is perfect today oh okay these are all running on big k applewood um i like it um i still like big green egg i've got lots of big green egg um, how are we going to do this well we'll keep some spare so those are our korean chicken wings we've got two things here So many spring onions down. Let's get some more spring onions and some sesame seeds. And we should do Lexi's favourite, really, shouldn't we? I've got another bowl of mine. I'm going to wipe this one out. Use that white one if you need to. Just use the white one. Oh, yeah. Said, what's the maximum? Or oh, Ali Shofer said, what's the maximum number of uh, wings in the basket? Ah, as many as you can tumble around in it, I guess. Um, that was a whole packet. There and I did use supermarket wings. Terrible. So, Lexi's favourite. Um, they've all got a little bit of salt on already. Tiny bit of salt and lots of lime. If you're not into your chilli and spicy. Then 
kids love those and I know Lexi's being driven over to collect those so we'll keep them warm um, but yeah so this week's cook Kung Pao chicken I think we got there in the end um, we burnt the chilli the first time we've got deep fried uh, uh, wings with a batter made with Frank's hot sauce. We've got typical American wings and we've got our Korean um, spicy wings. So, have yeah. you got the Kung Po chicken up on the website? The Kung Po chicken will go up on the website this afternoon, promise. I'll, I'll make it. sure he does that yeah, before he goes for a walk. So, here you go. So, four or five different types of wings, really, because we've got the just salt and lime at the end. So, Five different wings in 45 minutes. 40 minutes, not bad. Perfect. So, what do we cook next week? Hopefully, it won't be as windy. Oh, um, so, suggestions. What do people want to see? Um, hopefully, I will be. If I, you know, I should be all right. I've got my jab on Thursday, so uh, hopefully, I won't be feeling dicky. But we'll find out, won't we? So, um, we should be fine. Helena was. So, uh, yeah. So next week, drop us your ideas. Um, let's go through what uh, stock and those sorts of things. So pretty much everything is now back in stock with Big Green Egg, with the exception of the Acacia table for large. Um, I think there's a small delivery of those coming at the end of March. And then after that, it's going to be quite a way after that, I believe. So if you are after one of those, let me know. Um, but otherwise, pretty much everything else is in stock. Um, Let's Q's cleared customs yesterday. You didn't tell me that. I didn't tell you that. Uh, so yeah, we cleared customs yesterday. Where the, when that means they'll be delivered is another question. Um, but that has been three weeks that they've just sat waiting to be go through customs. Can you unwrap, please? Because you, apparently people are basically pushing the button and you're all just to ship. Oh. <laughs> right, I'm going to hurry up. So we'll have Let's Q's in, we've got large, uh, but the Mini Max, medium and extra large will come in stock hopefully this week. Uh, meter Pluses are due in on Monday, Meter Blocks are due in on Monday, they've been ordered and shipped, they just haven't arrived yet. Um, Thermo uh, Pens are in stock. Uh, new tables haven't arrived yet, we will show you them as soon as they arrive. Oh yes, no, with about three weeks, there are six week lead time for the blaze um, so the tables that these are going to go into are not these because if you saw this week I was a bit cheeky and I ordered three brand new eggs to go into my brand new tables so yeah I, uh, I am now the proud owner of a dozen eggs and somebody commented well you haven't got a baker's dozen does that mean I've got to buy another one uh, no <laughs> don't think you should sign up for that I'm afraid <laughs> so yeah no but some of these are gonna uh, are leaving us um, so Andrea who uh, who was our film person is uh, is going to have an egg so that when I go around there when we're allowed I can cook um, still my egg anyway um, but yeah so um, if there's anything that you particularly want to see us cook next week go for it tell us otherwise we will see out see what we fancy so uh, yeah perfect so thank you for watching do sign up to it just started it's raining. Just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> so do sign up to us on YouTube. I will get this video up there. I'll get the Kung Pao wings recipe up there, and also the deep fried one. The others are already up there. And I can feel the orders. They're buzzing on my watch. Oh, right. are they really? <laughs> yeah. You're joking. I'm not. I've got, I've, anyway. I've got a couple. Um, but anyway, show us what you've cooked, tag us in. We love to see what you cooked. If you've got any questions, give us a shout. Ah, there was a question this week that came up. Um, the new fire rings for the Big Green Egg, um, which way up do they go if you ever get replacement? Because now they've not got the notches in them. Don't know if you can see this. Grab it. I replaced, had one of mine replaced this week. So, uh, tuck that out of the way. But if you look at that fire ring, there's no um, notches in it anymore, but the top has the logo Big Green Egg, and there are two little scallops at the underneath in two different places. There to get your fingers in and lift it out when it's not a thousand degrees. Um, so um, they go with the logo up. Um, 
we had a customer who'd uh, spoken to Big Green Egg and um, then wanted me to tell them. So uh, yeah, they go that way up. Um, I think that's it. Awesome. Everyone's enjoyed the wings. Perfect. So yeah, show us what you're going to cook this week. Um, enjoy your eggs and we'll see you next week. Cheers. <laughs>